how I say I want a girl, I just f women. Like I gotta have sex with women to feel like, okay, now I need love. I wanna love a girl. Mm. But other than that, man, I'm feeling shit, that shit dead. I tell a girl, a girl can never break my heart. I ain't none of that, I don't have feelings. I don't mm. care what goes on, I can't, I would never express it, I'd be like, I can't show it to you. But you just know I got feelings. But that shit need to come out, wherever the shit that in me, man, that shit need to come to the front, man. Yo, what's poppin'? You know what time it is? Your boy, Mr. J Hill, J Hill Podcast. We here. Special people, special conversations, man. This next guy, special. This is a special dude. Um, he said he don't like doing podcasts. He said he ain't f***ing with the interviews for real, for real. That's what he <laughs> says. Like, I don't really, you know what I'm saying? So this is going to be a special one because he came just to f*** with me. You feel me? We got B-Slime here. What's up, dog? What's going on, man? How you feeling, dog? Shit, Why you don't f*** with these podcasts, bro? Nah, don't shit just be taking up my time, bro. <laughs> you know it's work, right? It is. You know you got to do this shit. It is. How it long is. you been How long you been doing this shit for real? What, podcast? M music. Just making music. I've been doing this shit like four years. Because it seemed like it, you're still getting adjusted to it. Yeah. Like, you like, man, I ain't really trying. Nah, because I don't like interviews. I told her, yeah, I do interviews when this shit gets at a certain point when I'm just big as f Then I start doing them. I don't like doing this shit because this shit take up time. And niggas, we want to have a conversation. I don't like telling the niggas anyway, but but you cool, bro. That makes sense. I f with it. I appreciate yeah. it. I'm just trying to figure out what's the what's the most annoying part of it, I guess. Questions. Niggas just ask me questions. It felt like an interrogation room. Bro. Yeah, like, bro, I ain't. God damn. I was just in New York. I was just telling them the same shit. Like, bro, how many of these shits I got to do, bro? Damn. So it's still like the, I guess, management and shit still handling that shit for you. Like, you hands off, bro. Yeah, because if, if it was up to me, hell, man. <laughs> hell, nah, I ain't doing these. It's crazy because, like, so would you consider yourself a hood nigga? Because you said you did everything for the hood. So I'm yeah, trying yeah. to be careful with my words and make sure you say you a hood nigga. Yeah. I feel like. All hood niggas be like on the same shit. Like niggas don't want to talk. I did an interview with a nigga. He was like, "Man, you asked a lot of questions." I said, "Well, thank you." Like it's an interview. Like that's what the fuck we supposed to do, right? Nah, you supposed to ask questions, but nigga be asking goddamn a lot of them motherfuckers. I mean, that's the whole point of it is to get to know you, to get to know how you feel about shit, and especially, I mean, especially being attached to YSL, a, a, a lot of questions is going to come. Like yeah, a lot of a people want to know a lot of shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah boy. So it's like, what you expect though? Niggas just be cool. Mm. Like you ask some questions, but I don't ask. God damn. Say it. Just say it. Nine hundred questions. <sighs> it, it, you gonna keep this shit cool though. You ask some of them motherfuckers. <laughs> you gonna see it or you gonna? I'm gonna let you know when it's. Eh. I talked to uh, and that's cool. And, and so what I will say is I say this with a lot of niggas, um, with a lot of people. This is a safe space, and like at the end of the day, I'm a man too. You feel me? So if right. I ever I say anything that like catch you off guard or like. If it feel like wrong, you could just be like, I'm good. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't going to take it personal. Like, we men at the end of the day. Nah, we should for, be there. for sure. You feel me? So, that's how I feel. Um, But it's crazy. I was talking to uh, Trail, and I was asking him, just being, just speaking of the YSL situation, like, being attached to YSL, a lot of niggas tried to, like, it was almost like niggas get canceled. You know how, like, some, somebody say something wrong, and everybody want to detach from, from yeah. it and yeah. shit. I was wondering how did the camp feel when, like, everything hit the fan and, and, and niggas get booked. Then niggas... Not turn that back, but was niggas scared to like still be attached to the to the camp because everything that was going on. Yeah, no, I'm I'm this shit like I'm locked in with this shit. So no matter what what a nigga say or what a nigga do, this shit like mm. this shit like family ties. But other niggas got now. I don't know how other niggas were feeling. Mm. I stayed the same. I ain't changed. Ain't that crazy though? Like it could like, and this is just outsiders. Is that for us? Like a lot of niggas. Keep it going when it's beneficial. Right. But as soon as some shit hit the fan, you get the fuck on. That nah, shit. that shit happening now. Like, that's why I'm waiting on this whole little situation to get over it. Goddamn. So when we come to the round table, all these niggas trying to come back and hang shit like that. Mm. I'm gonna be the one that show these niggas they true cut. Like, hey, hell, now nah, we ain't doing that. Mm. Going on about your business. Mm. Cause I see the shit now, but I can't tell them that cause they behind the wall. Yeah. And then they got bigger shit to, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Bigger fish to fry. But when they come here, when they come home. We sit at that table, everybody smiling, looking good. I'm sure nigga. Mm. Tell a nigga how this shit is, man. Hey, going on, on. All that cap kicking it like you back. Fuck it with a nigga. Stay over there, man. So is it is it when when you say that, like, is it niggas that still fronting like they down, but saying little slick shit, or is it niggas just blatantly ain't fucking with them? 
and you could you could tell that they gonna come back around. It's like, like how was that? It's like niggas got down acting like they with this shit, but behind closed door niggas talking like talking about this shit and got down. Niggas feeling certain type of ways, mm. but when I come around, like when the nigga around a nigga, nigga like, hey, yeah, yeah, boys, all it's all yeah. lovey dovey. So when a nigga leave though, it's like you, you can see it on it, niggas. Right? So you can yeah. feel it. Feel you can feel this shit on niggas and niggas. I'm knowing. All I do is observe, observe a lot of niggas. That's all I do. Like when I came to this mother, I'm observing all y'all. Mm-hmm. I just observe and I see what's going on. So now I'm like, okay, I already see them niggas on that side they ain't really fucking with us. Mm. But it be niggas that you'll be like you'll seeing a nigga buddy buddy with. What's my? It go from rappers to goddamn hood niggas to niggas mamas. Like mm. this shit crazy. How would how is it being? A hood nigga, just for like, but just cause you self proclaimed it, fuck it. Cause I, I'm trying to be respectful, but fuck it. How is it being a nigga that came from the hood? We say that, and and having to be in the industry, cause like you said, you gotta do these interviews. A lot of shit you gotta do is work. But being honest, Kyron, I said I'm not supposed to be saying this, but well, fuck these niggas. A lot of these niggas be weirdos. Nah, you feel sure. me like and it's like but you got to be put yourself around it because like it's work and you got to do that to ascend and, and and get bigger and bigger you feel me but how right. is it coming from a certain type of ethic and a certain type of moral compass and having to be around niggas that just don't have that but that shit hard to got down it hard for me to do that shit though that's mm. why this is the reason of why i be saying like i don't like it because i they'll have me they have a hood nigga sit in a room with a weird ass nigga they gonna ask me some weird ass shit and you can just tell, like, this nigga, he really scared to even ask me shit. Mm. He's just knowing, like, bro, I got cameras rolling. I got a couple of my buddies here. Let's hope this shit don't go the wrong way by me asking him these questions. But me, I'm like, I had to tell my manager, bro, this shit, bro, I don't deal with weird niggas, bro. I don't mm. even like, I don't like people. If you ain't my hood, I ain't grow up with you, I don't even be candy kick. It ain't mm. even, like, I ain't trying to fake it with no nigga, like, hey, yeah, boy, I fuck with you, boy, you're a good nigga. I don't care to kick it with niggas. My family big as hell. We all we got. Mm-hmm. I don't care to even meet and I don't got friends. All them niggas my home. These niggas like I grew up from them with them. We would love. And ain't nobody else around me like new that you could say like, oh but he just started hanging around. Uh You know it's crazy <clears throat> that you say that because I always looked at the interview as the opposite. I guess because like I don't know. I came from that. Like, I tell niggas all the time, like, I came from the hood, I'm, but I'm not a hood nigga. I'm not of the hood. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm from the hood, but I will never, like, let that shit make me who I am because, like, and it's nothing against niggas that's hood niggas. It's just, I know I ain't that. You know what I'm saying? A lot of niggas be faking, be trying to be something that you not. I'm cool with me being me. You know yeah. what I'm saying? A nigga yeah. still get his ass whooped. You feel me? But, like, I don't got to be that nigga. Like, I ain't trying to be a hood nigga. But I, anyway, I said to say, I feel the opposite because I feel like when you sit down across from the nigga, and niggas say all this shit, niggas be talking all this shit on the internet. But when you sit down and you talk to a nigga and you ask him a question that's uncomfortable, I I thought that was on, like some man time. But now I think about it, you right, niggas had the cameras. Yeah. They probably try up it a little bit because, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, get a reaction. Nah, damn. Then you, you react on camera, this shit already rolling. Yeah, then you go, vi- yeah, right, and right, you viral. I get it, I get it. See, me, I always thought like, man, if you got something to say, you sit down across from a nigga, and you say it to his face, you ask, that's some stand-up shit, because a lot of niggas be scared. Right. Niggas can't do that. It's them damn. cameras, man. Them shit yeah, be damn. rolling. Yeah, that's a, I ain't never, yeah, you right. Damn, that's crazy. Shit, so what What even got you into making the music, then? Rest in peace to Key, man. That nigga Key mm. got down a long time ago. I'm at the studio with him. I used to make sure he got down. Like, his ass used to get home and shit, because he used to get dead-ass drunk. He mm. loved Bel Air. This all this nigga drink, Bel Air and Hennessy. Okay. He mixing that shit. Got down, he get drunk, did that drunk in the studio and shit. So every time he go to sleep, it's like, I be like, I make sure everybody out the room. Mm. And I just started trying to rap. So when I first made a song, like, I'm shy and shit. I don't even, thinking the engineer even like this shit. I'm like, bro, this shit cool. He probably was lying to me or whatever the fuck he was doing. He like, yeah, this shit cool. I'm like, all right, he sent, let's do another one. So now, I just kept doing songs, but I ain't like them shits. I'm like, hell no. Nah. This nigga filling me up to how no nigga about fake it with you. Like, these niggas ain't real, bro. Nigga, I'm looking at him like, bro, this shit ain't nothing. You real? You right here telling me, hell yeah, boy, keep going, but this shit hard. 
this shit ain't nothing. I'm going home listening to it, like, telling my partner, like, bro, be honest, bro, this shit ain't nothing. Nigga like, hell no, nah, this shit ain't nothing, bro. Mm. This nigga here telling me, bro, this shit the one, keep going. But Key, I always told him, like, bro, keep going. Don't never give up, bro. I don't give no damn, that shit ain't nothing now. Couple years from here, that shit gonna be some. Yo, this episode is sponsored by The Morning Meetup. Man, shout out to my guy, David Shines, man. He's probably one of the few people I know who actually built multiple multi-million dollar businesses, right? He created The Morning Meetup to help other entrepreneurs do the same thing. Now, listen. As an entrepreneur myself, I know how hard it can get, especially when we start making money and we get to like this financial cap that we can't get past. And honestly, let's be real. They say it ain't what you know, it's who you know. We probably can't get past this cap because we either, one, outgrew the people around us, or two, we just being lazy and we ain't in the rooms we need to be in. It's just plain and simple. But trust me, this is your time because the morning meetup is that room we got to be in. It's filled with, filled with entrepreneurs getting to it. They reading different books every month, right? They holding each other accountable. And it's just honestly just something dope to be a part of. So listen, if you're an entrepreneur and you're trying to get to this bag, you're trying to flourish more than you've been flourishing now, you got to go to the morningmeetup.com. That's www.themorningmeetup.com and join now. Let's get to it. I'll see you there. And when he told me that, I just kept going, doing this shit. Yo, that's crazy. This is the second time I heard a similar story about Keith. Um, I did the interview with Carlay, and she was saying, like the same shit, like yeah. not, like not saying it was. She was just saying like he he really was like put the battery like nah, yeah, motivating he put, her. Yeah, he shit put batteries in nigga back. Bro. That's crazy. It's crazy because even to have that, you gotta be you have to, you gotta see something. Because of course, like when you first start anything, right, rap, whatever, like you're not gonna be as good as you your potential. Right. You feel me? So like, of course, some people probably see it and they're like, yeah, that's trash. They being real with you, but they don't see the potential. To see a potential in a nigga, that's special. Right. You get what I'm saying? For him to be like, yo, keep going because any. Your, your man is going to be like, right. man, bro, it's trash, you feel me? But uh -huh. to see where it can go is special. Right. Damn, that's crazy. That's why you wanted the Bel Air? Yeah. You that's why you that's what, just that's said. You would have been it better just saying that. You said, well, for right. the hood. I ain't giving right. no fucking <laughs> better for no fucking hood. You right. <laughs> <laughs> they said, for the hood. They go, we going to drink this shit. I got Bel Air in there. Is it is a bottle in there? Is it, is it Bel Air bottle? Which one in there? Bella, that nigga love that Give shit, Give him a black bro. one. Give him a black one. You got that it. That nigga you know love saying? that shit, bro. You got that, dog. You know what I'm saying? This nigga, this shit remind me of Key, bro. Yeah, no, no you got that shit. You got that shit. Nigga said for the hood. I'm not giving you no fucking bottle for the hood. Nah, because <laughs> like, this, this what this nigga used to do. He pull nah, got, up, nah, bring this it. shit to the hood. Like, niggas drinking this shit with him. You got it. You got it. You got it. Appreciate that, bro. Nah, it's all, it's all love. So, um, you've been doing this four years, right? Right. What's changed over the time? Um... Goddamn, my sound, that shit changed a whole lot. Like, you can hear that I'm more confident when I'm rapping now. Mm. You can hear, goddamn, my words, they clear. Instead of me, I used to be like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, like mumbling words and shit. You can hear me now, like, nigga, I ain't, I ain't afraid. I used to be mm. afraid. I used to be shy. I could stand up in front of whoever and rap this shit, looking a nigga in his eyes, telling a nigga, like, hey, bro, either you on. You can fuck with it. I ain't even mad if you don't. Pause right there, right? If you don't. Let's go into that. I feel like when niggas think of hood niggas, right, they got this perception of what a hood nigga look like, right, in their, in their mind. Right. Not understanding that niggas is human, just like everybody else, right? Talk to me about those times when, like, you just said, like, it changed from, you know, being afraid to being confident in what you're saying, right? How was you dealing with that? Like, did you recognize that you was afraid back then? Yeah, what did yeah, that yeah. You, you knew that? I knew it. I was just like, damn. That's crazy. Yeah, I, I, I knew that shit though, cause I it like I was sitting in a, in a room in a meeting with her, like like my lady, I just had to go in the mean with him. Back then, I was like, I don't want to say nothing. I hope the question don't land on me and somebody asked me something. I just want to hear everything because I just wanna I learn. I like to learn from people. Mm -hmm. But I don't like I don't like to talk. I hate it, I hated to speak. And that was my pride. He's like, bro, I'm afraid. What the fuck is you scared of? Damn. These people, they they want to hear what I got to say more than I want to hear what they got to say. But let's talk about that that change of dynamic, right? Because being in the streets, you comfortable there, right? Right? Like we, we like it's like you comfortable right. there. Yeah. But when you get into this space, this new space, it's like you kind of you scared. How was that fucking with your, your mental or or even like your confidence? Brian, I don't even know what the f I don't know. I always ask myself the same thing, like, nigga, I can, I'm cool in the street. Mm -hmm. I'm willing, I'm willing to, goddamn, like, goddamn, I'm willing, to, I can speak up and I got a voice in the street. But when I get around they ass at first, like when I used to be afraid, I'm like, 
fucking like I don't know how that I don't know what the hell I don't know how it is, but that shit like it was crazy, bro. But it's I had awful. to really sit down and really look in it. I I cut the lights off, bro. I really had to ask myself like a man. Like I look in the mirror and see myself like what the fuck, like what the hell going on? Yeah. But I used to, I told myself if you don't know, speak and shit like that, you'll miss out on a lot of things. It's crazy because like all of us is human and even shit. I'm pretty sure. The key, they probably felt the same way when they Everybody stepped into it. Yeah. Like when you first started this shit, yeah. And you, and when like I was what my first time interviewing a a celebrity, I was my heart was being like a <laughs> being like a fucking like, you feel me like jeez, nigga yeah. But but it's crazy because um I say that to say like again when we I, I want because my next question I'm gonna ask you but when we think of like a hood nigga we already got this picture in our mind like this this gremlin almost right yeah, it's like yeah. it's like this 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 all-time gangster hero like strong big nigga you know what i'm saying yeah. but like thugs need love too for real not for sure what's your what, what would you say your definition of a hood nigga is for the people because a lot of people have this image and they probably misconstruing what we saying so what would you say your definition of a hood nigga is yeah um you talking about like using somebody else or just? No, you. Nigga, you said it's you, so you tell me about you. What's your definition of you? Shit, me. But what's your definition of a hood? When, they, when you put the label, it's already there. You put the label, right? I asked you, you said, right. yeah. So what's your definition of a hood, nigga? My definition of a hood, nigga, is like, um. Bro, nigga, really, my definition of a hood, nigga, is a nigga who going to stand on business. Mm. Not, not saying like, it ain't even got to be gangster. Mm-hmm. Like a, a man, really. Yeah. That's that's the definition of a hood nigga for me, bro. Really, a man. They gonna stand up and ain't. He ain't no hoe. Mm-hmm. He don't take no disrespect. See, like shit like that, like the street rules, really with it. But a nigga that got them gonna handle his business. They're willing to handle the business. Yo, it's crazy because I ask this a lot with people that like come from our background for real, right? I'm from the projects, Baltimore. Right. So like, I always ask niggas like, what was something that the hood taught you that you thought was right? But that was wrong. And I always say, like, it's kind of what you said. Like, I, I came up and I was always taught not to be a bitch, right? Right. And I ain't really understood what that meant. I thought you, what I thought being a man, what you just described, was a man. Like, right. that's a man time. That's a right. that's what a man's supposed to do. Right. You feel me? And I, really, I realized coming up that I thought I was getting it fucked up, like being a hood nigga, being a real nigga, be, not being a bitch. I was really getting it miscon- misconstrued with being a man. Right. You know what I'm saying? So if you if you can allow me, if you don't mind, I ain't trying to be holier than now, but I just feel like <laughs> I'm just I'm being respectful, I'm being real. If you can I think we should be careful with the words we use because a lot of people, like I said, they have that image of what a hood nigga is right. when they really need to know that a hood nigga is just being a man. Because those same principles that came from the streets, right. if we if we really apply them right. It's really just standing, yeah, being a man in your word. You just being a man. <laughs> being a man, you feel me? You like, can be I'm a real man. nigga without being a hood nigga. You know, it's, it's a lot of real niggas out here that ain't hood niggas. Mm, what's that then? It's like, you just you just a man. It mm. really it all the same shit, bro. A hood, all I'm saying is, you can be a hood nigga, you can be whatever you want to be. Make sure you're a man, though, but all <laughs> the shit I just I just stated, that shit follow up on a being a man. Facts. You got to be a man. No cap. I, I think the only difference is we came from the hood. The that's only all. difference is that's we came all. from the hood. And, we, you know? and, and that shit was hard course, so the how the shit is with, with hood niggas. That's a fact. Nah, I'm, man, I'm with you. Nigga. I'm with you 100%. And that definition, I'm a hood nigga too. Yeah, nah, for sure. <laughs> that definition. Nah, so, yo, so another thing, right? We going, we going back for music, everyday life and shit like that. The YSL connection and shit, right? One thing I saw was consistent. Um, Again, just interviewing with Carly. She was saying like thug and, and even just knowing thug background. Everybody always be like, man, well, the people that I asked always was saying his regiment was to tell niggas always just drop music. Yeah. Was that your experience too? Nah, that was he. Yeah, you know, like, man, you know, Slime got down. Man, thought we related. That's my damn uncle. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's my uncle. That's my blood uncle. Damn, I ain't, I ain't know that. My bad. I'm knowing that. See, I was knowing that first, like, man, buddy got millions. This shit gonna be hand, like, hand fed. Oh, you thought but that? But he not, he not going for that shit. <laughs> He well, like hell. That. That's how I was thinking though. Oh, I'm like, shit. cause that was me. If if I'm his, if I'm his uncle, okay. And he would have came for me. I'm like, I'm getting it to him. But you pack. never, but you never experienced that, yeah, right? So he but got he wanted a me different to, level. He wanted yeah. me to come through the same shit he yeah. had to do. But I, it, if it was the other way around, 
I'm passing this you shit. You probably like, wouldn't have though. I'm nah, telling you I would have. Nah, I would have. Probably. I say this respectfully because like you say, I'm still trying to go to the, you right. know what I'm saying? By the time you get there, you fuck around learn some shit that you know that if you give it to a nigga, he probably ain't going to never be the next you. Right. You get what I'm saying? Just respectfully. That's right. What, but I'm listening. But I was never tripping on it though, but his ass not. I'm thinking like, but this shit all grave. <laughs> like even just give me this shit. Man, brother like, hell no. Nah. <laughs> Man, you ain't gonna go through all the shit I had to go through. You know, it, it took him 10 years for him to blow. Mm. But like, nowadays, this shit's so fair, man. You drop some shit, man. Yeah, he got them gone. But he always told me like, man, fuck all that other shit, man. Keep dropping. Mm. Just keep dropping. When you care they ass, when you hit their ass in their mouth, they gonna know what's up. Mm. And ever since he said that, I'm like, man, shit. Let's do it. I don't wanna do nothing more some recording. Every day I'm gonna record, I wanna record. Cause something Cause you never something know. You it. never know which song be the ones. It be the shit that you might be like, hell no, nah, that ain't cool. Don't be the ones though. Kind of seen a lot. It's a lot of you know how many niggas rap that bullshit on that you be hearing. Yeah, yeah, I know. That shit get the <laughs> fuck on. Nigga, I know. <laughs> nigga, I know. I be like, what the fuck is this? Like, shit? what? How the hell this shit get to man? Cause the people, I ain't gonna lie. Without the one thing I did, no. One thing I started to realize as I became a grown man, you know what I'm saying? Right. It's so many people in the world. Right. That means a lot of different tastes. So a lot of niggas just like different shit that I might not like. Right. Niggas having their turn to like the shit that I just don't like. <laughs> so yeah. Like their yeah. Turn. yeah. You feel me? Yeah. Respectfully. But it's crazy because I think that's something special. Like we only, honestly, we only get a few of those type of guys in generation. Like Lil Wayne was one of them. Like those niggas that really just go in and just. Mm -hmm. Make music and like that's it. A lot of niggas gotta have a look that come with it. Gotta be yeah, like, yeah, gotta yeah, be yeah. perfect. Like, yeah. nah, Thug was one of them niggas that like drop music and niggas talk about how great he was. Chris Brown is cut from that cloth. I know he not a trap uh -huh. nigga, like, but he cut from that cloth. Nah, but a gangster though. Nah, he is. That like, nigga nah, a gangster. Crazy, but that nigga all the pretty like, that dance shit he be nah, doing, that crazy. shit be that shit just look. But a real gangster. Ain't that's crazy though. Like I talk about how this hood nigga look right, but like that's everything. Like you, it be. You judge a nigga if you want out here. Yeah, that, that how you just said, like, <laughs> shit, I still a beat a nigga ass, or how you, just, how you say that? <laughs> nah, nah, I'm knowing, because it be the niggas that you least suspect. Them, you like, you go to a party, see the nigga dancing and ticking, you trying to go up big on them in front of some hoes, man, but oh, beat your ass and make you look lame as hell in front of all these hoes. Now what you got to say? Now the party on him. Everybody fuck with him. Mm, facts. That's a fact. Yeah, I'm going to ask you this, bro. Being outside and just, you know, Doing your shit, I think, what, the last four years, it's been so many rappers that passed. It's like just just for this dumb shit. And the last one, of course, um, and I want to ask you this because you're from Atlanta. Right. I'm not from Atlanta. And your, your manager just was like, man, I see what you're doing. We need this in Atlanta. I thought it was dope. I appreciate that. Niggas embrace me. Right. But, like, you being from Atlanta, I feel like you understood the impact that the Migos and, um, like, Take off specifically had on the culture. Right. Talk to me about that a little bit. Like, how, and does that make you like not want to go outside as much? Seeing that, because if that can happen to him, it can happen to anybody. No, nah, that she can happen. That she can happen to who? No, nah, you know, a situation like that just happened in my hood. Mm. But it wasn't me, though. Mm. It was one of my homies. Like, goddamn, we in the hood. What the fuck will happen? Man, we in the hood, goddamn, just chilling, having a good time. Just had a show. We come back from my show. We outside by three, four in the morning in the apartment just chilling. Everybody got liquor, drinking, hoes pulling up. One of my other buddies from the hood pull up with a play. Mm. We call it, was, it's like a J. He got a J ride. We call okay. him plays. He pull up. His play want to buy some dope from one of my homies. But my homie like, he trying to put his price on my homie drugs. He like, hell no, nah, nigga, I want this for it. He like, man, nigga, they my play, man, sell it for this. So they get into it. They get into it. He come over there by me. He like, man, this fuck nigga got to get the fuck on because I got to say so in the hood, though. I'm like, hey, man, y'all nigga chill out. Woo, woo. Guns whooped out. Everybody got guns. Don't out. give me too much, bro, because I want to post this shit. So don't no, no, you cool. Much. You like, cool. What I say, bro? Like, no, you cool. All right, all right, bad, bad. Shit like that go on. Goddamn. Some shit. I don't know what the fuck. Man, I turn my head, bro. There's some hoes in front of me. They trying to tell me to drink a shot of liquor. I'm telling these hoes I don't drink. Mm -hmm. I turn my head. I hear gunshots everywhere. When I turn back around, my homie on the ground. But he like, bro, I'm shot. I'm like, what? 
He like, nigga, I'm shot. I'm like, I did, what, what the hell you mean you shot? I move his jacket, that nigga, he bling, he gushing and shit. He die on the curve. Mm. I'm trying to get his ass to the hospital. I throw him in the car, he come back to life. I take his ass to the hospital, got down. It's like they got down. Police pull us over while we in the car, man. You know, this is my first time, like, ever, my one of my witnessing a partner die. And I got to really help the nigga get in the car. It's trying to take him, goddamn, get seen by. It's my first time, but there's a lot of niggas not dying in front of me, though. Mm. I done witnessed a lot of that. But for this one right here, I'm like, this shit crazy, bro. It's like, go to the situation about takeoff. Mm. Some shit, like some miscellaneous shit. It be them ones, bro. It just be like, I ain't scared to go outside, but, bro, you got to be cautious, bro. It be your own people. This shit mm. crazy. And that's what I really was asking, because, like, it, it, it was a loaded question. I got to retract that a little bit. Got excited there. But, um... Seeing that you said you ain't scared to scared to go outside, I understand that. Let's talk about the impact as well. And I want to get back to your homie too. Let's talk about the impact that that had in ATL specifically. How was that? Like, did you like? I'm pretty sure you've seen that direct impact because I I haven't seen the direct impact. I've seen people posting on Instagram, but again, it's not my hometown, so I really I really can't understand it. How you can understand it? That shit like it was crazy though. I know that. That shit behind the takeoff situation, that shit, bro, I'm like, Atlanta, bro, that shit. You ain't, nah, you ain't, how long you been here doing this shit, A man? Year. You ain't been seeing the shit, like. I see Instagram, but that's Instagram. I know you Instagram been, and. You ain't been seeing, like, the street shit? You ain't been outside? Bro, if I did be outside, I'm probably in Midtown. I ain't in the, like, uh, I'm, <laughs> fuck, you think I'm in the hood? <laughs> like, what you, like, nigga, I was, I'm a year in, like. You nah, you ain't been outside, Nah, nigga, this shit no. be cool, though, bro, you won't believe. My city. No, allowed, I believe you. I'm just saying. more outsiders than insiders. You gotta give me at least three years, bro. Can you think about a uh, year in? I'm in a hood. You crazy, <laughs> bro? Like this nigga. Is nah, insane. nah. This shit. This how they will treat you more than the than the insiders, though. They'll treat you better than the insiders. Oh, I ain't even trusting that. You crazy? No, but to answer your question, I ain't been outside. <laughs> so I don't know. Oh, if you see, you should. If you would have been outside, me, I try to like stay away from it. But like, if you been outside, this shit crazy, bro. These folks out here. This shit crazy. Behind that situation with him, that shit crazy. Damn. I ain't even been around it though, cause I already know how this shit is. This shit, this shit crazy. Atlanta crazy. Mm. I just try to stay in my lane though. Yeah. Nah, I get it. Let's go back to your homie, right? I feel like you told that story for it to be your first time witnessing your homie die in front of you. You told the story like effortlessly, like bro, you got like, where your feelings at? You don't like that. Nah, ain't hurt. I don't got no feelings. I not seen this shit too much, bro. I got a lot of homies that have died. Like, feelings been gone. Mm. Like, I didn't, I didn't even cry when he died. I didn't never cry. Mm. Nigga, that shit ain't never bothered me or none. It's just like, this shit be crazy, bro. It's all right, just, so since we since we having this conversation, because we going to have a real nigga conversation. Right. Fuck all that. Outside of these cameras and all your homies back in the crib, you know what I'm saying? If that's really your homie, you feel me? And you don't cry and you don't, and I don't, Hurt you on the outside at least. How how what did that do to you on the inside? Cause I know you want to feel something. That shit, bro. It's, I can't. I mean, the cameras and shit, but that shit be crazy, bro. I mean, no, I'm saying you don't gotta. We ain't talking about. I'm talking about you, nigga. How you feel? Like that's all I'm asking about. Yeah, I'm, I'm knowing. Like I can't. I don't feel no type. Of, I feel a way though, but I, it's just like the feeling. Like I can't. Goddamn, I can't show the feeling. Mm. But it's a bad feeling. I think about that shit. Every fucking day, bro. Mm. Like every second, when I look at people, I just look at niggas and be like, "It's a feeling that I want to do something so crazy to the point where I can't." Mm. How do you feel like being in that box, right? Just a man, a black man at that, feeling something that you can't really get off your chest. That right there is a lot of shit to just deal with as one person. Right. You don't never think about this shit at home. Like I don't know when you lying down, you might be with your girl, you might be with a chick. I don't know. And, like, that will never hit you at night. Like, damn, bro, like, I really want to feel certain ways and I feel like I can't because one nigga to judge you. I don't know. Two, you probably be looked at as less of a man. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of shit that we right, go nah, through. Right, nah, nah. I be thinking about all this shit, too, though. Mm. But I don't I don't be really caring if a nigga judge me or not. It's just like, bro, I don't know, bro. This shit crazy, bro. I be trying to, I want to find out, like, what it is because, nigga, I got, I be feeling ways, but I, I can't show it. Like, you want to never see me cry. Mm. Nigga, my that shit crazy, bro. I can't. Where you, um. where you, where you think that come from? 
I don't know. I think, goddamn, I don't know, bro. Cause I, it, it ain't. I don't know. It's just it sounds like you care about it now, though. No, it sounds like you, I, I you don't. Got I can talk. No, nah, I can it. talk to you about it, but I don't really have no type of feelings about it. Mm. It's just like that shit crazy. I'm just whatever go on. This shit go on. Mm. It is what it is. How do you go through life like that? Like just whatever. Like I don't know. Like this shit crazy, bro. I wanted to, if I if I can explain it to you, I explain it to you, bro. But I don't know that shit crazy. But I how see. do you how do you cha- how do you get yourself out of that situation though? Because it is crazy and it is fucked up. But you knowing that, I feel like that's the first step to shit. Um, I don't know what's the shit a cure. The first step of cure is, is is knowing you got the problem, right? Right. So I feel like you know that's the issue, but you can get out of that. Do you want to be out of that situation, or you feel like yeah, yeah, yeah? Cool? I be I be wanna yeah, I be wanna goddamn I be wanna cry. I be want to feel shit, but it, it's like I can't feel any motherfucking thing, bro. Mm. I swear, bro, that shit be crazy. I can't feel, and you th- and I got feelings for. I love the hell out of this nigga, man. Mm. I love, I love all my homies anyway. Not just this, so not even just this isolated situation, right? Right. But when I'm I'm talking in general of like not being able to feel, you got like nigga, you got feelings. I don't got feelings. Like, if, bro. nigga, if if, if 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 somebody stepped on your toe right now with a big ass boot, that shit gonna hurt. You got feelings, nigga. Yeah, yeah, that type of feeling. <laughs> All right, so yeah. if you got that type of feelings, you got some, you got some feelings in there somewhere. Even if they way back in the back, you got some motherfucking. Well, them motherfucker need to come up because <laughs> I ain't felt the motherfucker in God know how long. Do you do you feel a way about not having feelings? Do you do you sometimes think like, man, I want feel like you said? I, yeah, I, I, I be thinking, like, I be, I be, I be saying like. Yeah, I, I be saying shit on Instagram, nigga, with whole, you know, I don't got, I don't do a relationship, I got no status. Mm-hmm. But, nigga, I be, when I be saying shit, I be at home, nigga, I look at it and be like, bro, I need, I want me a girlfriend. Mm-hmm. I want to love somebody, but I I can't love nobody, but I love my homies. They're like, the feeling that I got, it's crazy. The feelings, you can, I will never show up, but I know I got feelings. So what do you do, right? Do you do anything or do you do anything intentionally? To allow your feelings to be there and be present. Are you doing anything intentionally to be like, you know what? I know I got feelings and I need to do something about this shit. Yeah, I be like, goddamn, like, how I say I want a girl. I just fuck women. Like, I gotta have sex with women to feel like, okay, now I need love. I want to love a girl. Mm. But other than that, man, them feelings, shit, that shit, dead. I tell a girl, a girl can never break my heart. I ain't none of that. I don't have feelings. I don't mm. care what goes on. I can't. I would never express it. I'd be like. I can't show it to you, but you just know I got feelings. But that shit need to come out. Wherever the shit at in me, man, that shit need to come to the front, man. I know you ain't doing no therapy, right? You ain't fucking with that? Nah, way. hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. You was crazy, nigga. Like, you was out of this fucking world. That shit helps. That shit is good for you. Like, nah. I knew I said, you ain't gonna do it. I said, hell, nigga, nah, you crazy. You should try it. Nah, I be wanting to, bro, like, nigga, how we right here talking, I sit and wonder the same shit. Like, like, bro, who in the hell, what it is I gotta do? So I can start feeling shit. Cause I know I got feelings, but I can't feel nothing at all. I can help you out with that. Let me tell you what you gotta do. What do I gotta do? Just believe it, nigga. That's all you gotta do is just embrace it. Cause you know you got feelings, nigga. You know when something hurt. <laughs> like you ain't no fool, nigga. Like I ain't talking to no motherfucking boo boo on this motherfucker. Like talking about what I got, nigga. You just gotta embrace the shit. When something happened, that shit hurt. Be okay with it. Don't run from it. No, I don't run from it. I just don't, <laughs> man. Bro, I got it. I don't know, bro. I nah, think I, I, I think I, I, I think I do be. I don't know. No lie though. I think I do be running from it. Like, I don't show niggas. I, I can't show a nigga I cry in front of a nigga. You think that's why? Like we ain't far too far apart. You feel me? That's right. why I had this conversation because like nigga, I was running from it. Right. I never forget my pops died. Right. I ain't even know this nigga. Like so, my pops died. He not my biological father, but the nigga was still. I ain't understand this. The nigga still was a, a deadbeat dad. How you step up? And still be a the nigga named me after the nigga. I ain't he ain't even my biological father, and he still was a deadbeat dad. But whatever. Right. So the nigga died, and I ain't really feel no no way about it. But that hurt, cause I wanna I wanna be hurt if my pops pass. Right. So what what you do? I embraced it. I sat down for a second. I isolated everything out, and I I really thought to myself, how does this make me feel? And I came to the conclusion that yo, yeah, I understand he wasn't present, and because he wasn't present, I understand my feelings are absent. Right. right, because it, because it's no feelings because we don't have a relationship, right? right? So I understand that. But I do understand that I wish that my father was present. I wish that we had memories. I wish that we had time together and we spent time. Right. And because we didn't, that hurt. And I'm okay with that. You feel me? And I, 
I think I did cry. Nobody even know. Now, I ain't gonna lie to you. Nobody even know, bro. Like nobody <laughs> knew I cried. Like I cried, <laughs> but I at least was able to let that out within me, even if nobody saw it. You feel me? Right. And then eventually, hopefully, one day I fuck around crying on camera. You never know. I don't know, but I started there. If that makes sense. Well, I think I need a little therapy, man. <laughs> this stuff is the only was cool. way. That's the only way, bro. I, I'm telling you, bro. This shit, this shit, like, this shit crazy for me, bro. Mm. But I always, nigga, I sit there and, like, man, this shit be crazy, bro. I sit there and just, I be asking, I talk to myself a lot, too, though. Like, That's hey, bro, cool. why the fuck? Why the hell you don't never fit? Like, you don't have feelings. Why you don't cry? You got a homie or die or some shit. I be like, I can't fit. I, like, I don't cry. Everybody else be boo-hoo crying. I'm the only one like, but y'all niggas tripping, man. Screen your face up. This shit gonna be all right. Nah, for sure. But I never cry, and I can be by myself this shit can be on me heavy. I won't cry. Man, first time you cry, that shit gonna feel amazing. You can be like, damn, that shit. I be want to let this shit out. I know it's a lot in me. <laughs> bro, I done went through, bro, so much shit, bro. I, just, I be wanting this shit to come out, but it don't, I don't know where it gonna come out from. Nigga, I'll never forget. I was 12. I lost my little cousin. He was seven, bro. He got hit by a car. I was supposed to be watching him. His mother came outside, blamed everything on me. I'm 12 years old. So I get it. I done seen niggas die. Like, I understand, but it's like, once you feel like, like the moment you see I'm human, it's like, damn, that felt great. Once you cry, the first, your first <laughs> cry, hit me, nigga. You better hit me, too. Like, hit me like, yo, bro, like, don't tell nobody, but I cry. That shit gonna feel good. You be like, nah, that shit was dope. But you know, you know, what's, you know another thing that's crazy, though? Because you think you don't do therapy, but I'm going to ask you a rhetorical question. I know, I know the answer. Do you think your music is good now? Yeah. You know it's good, right? Yeah. I mean, where you think that come from? It got to come from a real place, right? right? That, like, that's a right. sense of therapy too, right? Yeah. That's a, that's a sense of letting your emotions go as well. Yeah. That's a, that's a, that's a feeling. That's a feeling. See? You probably didn't think this interview but it, is going to yeah, go there. Nah, you know? right, right, right. <laughs> but, bro, that, when it comes to shit like that, bro, I don't have no feeling, though. I swear mm. to God, bro. Maybe because you're transferring it to the music. And you letting, you yeah, letting I talk about it. In, I talk, I talk, talk about this shit in my music a mm. lot. But as far as me, like crying, I got down. I don't, I ain't on that. You like Jay Z? What he say? I can't see it coming down my eye, but I, I'm got to make the song cry. Same shit. Right. You know what I'm saying, but if you listen to that song four times at least, you down there. You down there. You, <laughs> <laughs> you gonna let one go? You listen to that song at least <laughs> times. Let you go. So like. I, how is everything now for you, man? I know a lot of things going on. Rest in peace, Key. The thug shit's going crazy. Like, take off. Like, how, I know you don't have no emotions, but if you could sum it up right now, how you feeling and how is everything going for you? Everything good, though. I leave, I leave everything up to God, though. Mm, that's heavy. Yeah, I leave everything up to God. Everything good, though. Mm. As, long as, I, as long as I'm waking up every day, doing what I got to do, handling my business, taking care of my people, my family, my kids. Shit, I don't really be standing in this though. Mm. Stand in my lane and make music. Like I, got, I gotta. I think that's the only thing I do have a feeling. I gotta have. I gotta make music every day. Mm. It's the only feeling I think I have. Mm. I gotta feel music every day. For sure. Nah. If you could, if you say you got feelings, you know they in there somewhere, right? Mm -hmm. If you could explain to us what that feel like or what that is. How would you even put that to words? If you had to show, tell, explain to somebody so they can try to understand how you feel, how would you word it? It's like I can't, I wouldn't be able to word it. Mm. This shit, this shit crazy. It would be like in cursive or like a different type of language or something. Man, shit. this should be like Egyptian or something. Man, you, <laughs> man this yeah, this should be. It probably don't be now. He just be looking at, just looking at some shit. Mm. I'm like where, where the shit at? Mm. Like you can't see it. This shit crazy though, bro. How but I, I, pr I hope I get out of this stage to the point where I can start feeling. I want to feel. I want something. I want to cry. I be want to cry, mm. but I can't cry. I could be. It could be some serious, like some real shit going on. I can't. I ain't have no feeling. Mm. I'm gonna look at you like we could be somewhere, nigga. It could be our buddy or some. God forbid, it's our buddy or some shit. You boo and crying. I'm gonna be looking at you like, hey, bro, screen your face up. Mm. You looking at me like, bro, you tripping, bro. No, nah, nigga, screen your face up. Mm. This shit gonna be all right. We're gonna leave this shit up to God. That's some real shit, though. That's some, that's some real shit. Not for sure. What 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 are you doing now in the music? Like, what 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 are you 
What are you working on? What are the project that's coming? Yeah, I got a project. This shit called Love Me or Don't. <laughs> of course. <laughs> this is my project called Love Me or Don't. Um, and now you gonna hear it in, in my music. Like what I'm what I'm telling what I'm, how I'm telling you right now when this shit drop. I would say the date, but goddamn, ain't this shit coming out though. It's soon though. Yo, y'all niggas been fucking all. Th- I ain't gonna lie, like I love the family, bro. Thanks for the for the shirt. I love the family. But it sh- ever since Thug went, like that shit fucked a lot of shit up. Nah, yeah. Like I didn't seen that a couple times. Project supposed to have been so you really can't even. I was going to ask for the date, but you really can't even do it because they. No, no, I know the date now. Oh, you know I the date got, now. I got it locked in. You date. still probably push it back though, because a lot yeah, of that yeah, shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> they been on some. It's it's a whole bunch of politics. Yeah. That they got going on with this shit, bro. But. Oh, I hate that I know that. I sound like an industry nigga. Like, I hate that I know that. Yeah, it's a lot of uh, politics it's with it, bro. I hate it. It's a lot of politics behind all this shit. Mm. I posted Ben Drop, bro. I done mm. put this shit on my page, like, months ago. Goddamn 08, six, 08 slash 22. Mm. But when I, they knowing that this shit coming out that month, the shit get pushed back. Every month, man, that shit be getting pushed back. Like, I got a locked in date now. It might be, I might. Just get in the car and listen to a song. Like, hold on, this shit need to go on now. Mm. They push that shit back. They want to read my lyrics. They want to make yeah, sure I ain't like, tripping. Yeah. Is that hard? Like, like I feel like sometimes that shit can get get away, get in the way of the creativity. Yeah, like, like the politics and shit. Yeah, you can't say certain shit now. Like they they, that black art. I hope they protect the black art, bro. Yeah, that's some real shit. Cause them lyrics, bro. I just I think I'm watching. An old, it's an old white man, man. Back in the day. That nigga said some shit like something about the judge and kill or something. But they let this nigga put this shit out. So when we get to saying something about it, like, but we got glocks with switches. Hold, hold on, man. Take three months, man. We're going to uh, say him on the side for three months. Man, you got to check your lyrics out. But nigga, these niggas saying some shit like, Man, what the hell y'all want to say? Okay, we get the water gun and shoot it. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Yo, it was a nigga I don't day from the DMV. Fuck, I forgot his name again. Shit. He made a song like that, like saying, I don't be doing nothing, nothing, nothing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, it was. It was. That shit was hard. It was. I was. Getting this fucking name. I seen this shit on the Instagram. Yeah, that shit be yeah. hard, so you never know. You fucking around. Can't do that shit. Yeah, but that shit crazy, bro. Nah, it is. If man. I got to watch what I got to say, like, what the hell? Like, Nah, for sure. That shit's crazy. That shit is annoying as fuck, man. That shit annoying, bro. Nah, I'm man. going through that shit right as you we speak. You got any, like, big features on there? I got Thug on there. I had Gun on there, but a nigga leaked my song. I mean, you still could throw it on there, though? Nah, I'm going to take the shit down, because I'm, uh, I'm mad behind the song. I, he supposed to just let my shit, just let it be on there, and yet niggas would have heard it. Who leaked? Wait, who, somebody in your camp leaked it, or? Nah, just, it's just leakers. These niggas got hackers. Man, you should still put that shit on there. Nah, I'm going to take that off. I, I, I got goddamn Tusi. Go I hard. got them thug and Tusi. It would go. It would have been Gunner. Mm. Yeah. Damn, that shit hard. Nah, I appreciate. I got you some more doing. songs with other big artists, but I ain't putting on that yet. I got. I'm chilling. Mm. Who was like your favorite feature so far? Thug and Future. Sheesh. Let me ask you this, bro. I'm curious. If you had to give me top five Atlanta rappers, who would you say? I say goddamn me. Thug, Future Gunner, Baby, and Goddamn Savage. 21 Savage? Yeah. That must just be like a recent top five or something. Well, that's all time. No, them just all time for me. Okay, so 21 Savage. We're going to say you, of course. 21 Savage, Thug, Gunner, Baby, and Future. And future. Damn. It's top five. All time? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's not a bad list. I just feel like some older niggas might be mad at that. Nah, they, you know, I ain't, I am not tripping. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm just telling them what keep us going, this generation here, y'all had y'all time. If you was an old head and you feel like you still over Atlanta, I'm cool with that. It's no pressure. I just gave you my top five. I ain't mad at that. I'll fuck with it, dog. Tell niggas how to follow you, how to support what you yeah, got going follow on. Me on. Follow me on Instagram, 1B Slime underscore. I got a Twitter too. I don't be on all the accounts, but I think that shit like why I said, I mean, uh, B slime, B dime, or some shit. I just, whatever it is, just I put it on this shit. Was, but yeah, I got a, a, a album coming out it's called Love Me or Don't. I would give you the date, but I just know it comes soon, though. Just know that. 
And got down. I think she got your Twitter right there. This is Twitter? What it called? One B Slime? Oh, it's B Slime Time Be Dying. That's my Twitter account. You probably got to spell that shit out, bro. Cause, what, like, nigga, be Slime? No, the whole thing. Like, you said B Slime Down Be... What the fuck? Be Slime X Be Dying. Okay. So it's like you, it's like a dime, but a B in front of the dime, and a B in front of slime, with an X in between both of them. Okay. Y'all get that shit. Make sure you rewind this shit back. Slow it down. Pause it. Anything you got to do to get it right. You know what I'm saying? Be slime. Shout out to the whole ISL family, man. Free the gang. You already know. Free, free, th- free thug. Free g- All that, man. And free the guys. Free the guys, man. I appreciate Long live the guys, too. For sure, nah. For sure. Appreciate you, dog. J-Hill. J-Hill podcast is wrap. We out. That was good shit, dog.